Dunnigan, traffic A. There's a jumper on the ledge. Hotel Rodney. 15, 16 floors, I think. Yes, sir. Stay away from me, or I'll jump. Operator. Good morning. This is the waiter, 1505. I'll connect you with room service. No, no, I don't want a waiter. I am a waiter. And there's a man. What room is it? What floor? I don't know exactly. It's two, three floors from the uh, top. Okay. I couldn't tell. Get Mr. Regan. Well, I, I'll get Mr. Harris. Would you get Mr. Harris? Oh, excuse me, Mr. Harris. There's a man well, What room is it? 1505. And I answer that call. Don't get excited. Now get Mr. Regan. Yes, no, no, Yes, sir. Look, sister, tell emergency when they come. It's 1505. Yes, sir. Uh, no, Mr. Regan, they're not. But, but they're on their way. Yes, sir. So what is it? Advertising? Could be. It could. You come in from there. You have to come in from there. The police will be here in a minute. Those cops come near me. I'll jump. Well, I make a grab for him, but he's too fast. Officer, can't you grab him? Well, I don't know. This is the worst possible thing to happen to the hotel. Please be careful. He says he'll jump if the police come near him. Give me your tie. Your tie. Who is he? Well, I, I... well check the registration. Uh, yes. That's a pretty dangerous thing you're doing, kid. You might fall off and hurt somebody. I live on this floor. I heard the racket, so... They tell me in here you don't go much for cops. Sometimes I feel the same way. But if you stay out there much longer, kid, the joint's gonna be creeping with cops. Well, they may be a little sore about this happening on St. Pat's Day. It's the big day. They got their buttons polished. And Listen, I could sneak you down a hall into my room before they get up here, and we could order some breakfast, and then we... Okay, let's clear the room, bud. I'm the manager, Mr. Reagan. Okay, okay. Get some keys. Open up these connecting doors. Come on upstairs. See if we can drop yeah. a loop on them. Okay. Just a minute. Who's Deputy Chief Moxer? I am. Hey, hey. Stay away from the window. Get away from the window. Yeah? I'll have them off in a minute. No. I don't want any brain specialists underfoot. Okay. Send them around. Make them happy. Look, kid, I'm gonna level with you. I'm a cop, but I don't shoot anybody. I'm on traffic detail. 
I was tagging the car downstairs when I saw you out here. Now, I don't know from nothing about what you think you're doing or why, but you look like a nice kid to me. I hate to see you make a bad mistake. You ought to come in and think it over. The longer you stay out here, the rougher it's going to be. Your room is knee-deep in brass now, and in another five minutes... Well, what are you supposed to we be? We found out he checked in late last night. William E. Cook, Philadelphia. Mr. Harris checked the Philadelphia directory, and there's no William E. OK, OK. Go on out there, keep an eye on him. Well, what did you find out? What did he say? Oh, I, uh, nothing yet, but I think I got him going. Maybe if we could find out who he is, we'd find out what's eating him. Maybe he was in the army. If we could get his prints on something, maybe in the bathroom, we could check the files. Who are you? What's your beat? Traffic A, Dunnigan, sir. I put in the call. Okay, Dunnigan. Go see about your traffic. Get away from me. I'll jump. Did he jump yet? You going down? Sure. Here, I mean, yes, sir. Hello, Joe. Where you been? All right. I want a couple of fingerprint men up here right away. Looks like he used a phony name. I want to get a line on him. All right. Well, what'd you find? Two shirts. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Give me the desk. Come on there, will you? I'm holding this bathroom for fingerprints. I'm sorry, I'm taking the trunks to the police. You'll have to talk to the manager. This is the manager. This is Mr. Regan. Now, give me the desk. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Regan. Just a minute. Here's the desk. Oh, oh, boy, boy. Will you get my bags from 702, please? Sorry, Mr. I'm in a hurry. Hold on. I want to see the manager. Oh, I'm sorry, but Mr. Regan just uh, doesn't... Ex excuse me. Excuse me. Yes? Kidding. If he jumps from that high up, we'll go through this thing like a bullet. Give him something to shoot at anyway. Picked himself a good spot for it. He sure did. No way to get at him. The balcony's in the way. He'd see me before I could get set to drop a loop on him. Here, you better stand by and make sure that he doesn't see you. I'm sorry about this, folks. I'll see if I can get your room changed. All right. Take these doctors right up. Yes, sir. Follow me, please. Okay. NBC. That's no good. What's the matter with it's the wrong color? It's out of date. Look, Mr. I remember. Get a new lot of... card, you. If they don't jump the first hour, they don't jump. Well, that's what they say. It's slow enough down here. Yes, sir. All right, you better get on there and give the boys a hand with that traffic. Yes, sir. Drop on those cabins. Yes, Take it easy, Junior. That isn't going to get you any place. Yeah. 
are we going to be able to get through? I've got an important appointment. I'm late now. They expect you today, dear. You better walk. like a bug taking a walk. Yeah. If I had my M2, I could knock him off from here. Clean. Get back in your cabs. OK, OK. What do you want us to do about it? Go straight up? Keep your hair on and lay off the horns. You'll never get through. We get a chance, we'll back them out. OK, OK. I should have listened to my old lady and stood in bed. Who's St. Pat? this a gag or something? The guy trying to get a seat for the parade? There's no gang. He threatened to jump. Yeah, that's a crime, ain't it? Knocking yourself off, they could throw you in jail. Good night. What's the matter? Beef with his old lady? Nuts, huh? He's just a kid. Maybe he's a loopy, but he didn't look like it to me. You should seen him close up. He was up there? Yeah. The cop says he was up there with a the guy. Hey, what did he say? He said he was going to jump, and he didn't want to talk to anybody. Ah, oh, let him. Who cares? Think of how many guys gets killed in wars. Nobody stands around watching them. Any guy's nuts enough, let him. He's better off. Everybody's better off. I figured on a good day that day. There's a guy who wanted to jump down. He's talking about it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Why don't you people go to work? Haven't any of you got jobs? Oh, come on. We better hurry. We're late now. Twice already this week I've been late, and I don't want any additional difficulty with Mr. Reese. Come on. What if he should jump? What if we left now and he really jumped? We would still be late to Mr. Reisman. The important thing with Mr. Reisman is punctuality. With him, punctuality is a principle. Gee, he doesn't look very old. I wonder what, what kind of trouble he's had. What made him so bitter. Maybe, maybe someone was cruel to him, or maybe he's just lonely. I suppose you could decide to kill yourself if, if you were just lonely. Oh, come on, let's go. I, no, I can't. I wish I could help him. It's the worst thing in the world to be lonely. There must be hundreds of people like that in the world. Lonely and desperate. Why don't the police do something? I heard they can't get hold of him. Well, every time they get close, he says he'll jump. Excuse me, I, I was speaking to my friend. She left. She had to go to work. Oh. Uh, would you like a mint? Cinnamon flavor. No, thank you. I don't think we're clean. If you're upset about anything, I'd like to help you. I'd like to talk to you. Where's the cop? Cop? Yeah. One that was up here first. Which one? I, I don't want to talk to anybody else. Will you come in if we let you talk to him? I'll have him up here right away. You know who he means? Flatfoot, the boxed the report and came up. Well, let's get him. What's he want to talk to him for? What does it matter as long as he talks? If you'll unload his troubles on somebody, we've got a chance to get him in. Maybe our only chance. Let's get him. What was his name? I don't know, Chief. I would. Find out. Check. See who boxed in. Get him up here on the double. All right. He's probably working the street. You got a description on the air? Well, sure. I sent it downstairs. All right. Hey, fella. We'll have your friend up here in a minute. He appears to be about 23 years of age. He's wearing neatly pressed gray flannels and a white shirt. He has brown eyes, wavy brown hair. He's about five feet nine inches tall and weighs about 155 pounds. This is extremely important. If you recognize this man, 
Call Spring 7 3100. Your description, that's Charlie Dunnigan, all right. Traffic A. Okay, Boxer wants him right away. Find him and get him up there. Right. You men know him? Yes, sir. We'll get him. This is George Putnam speaking, ladies and gentlemen. The speed with which this crowd has gathered is absolutely amazing. People on all sides of us, thousands of them. It's impossible to estimate from our point of vantage down here on the street exactly how many people are here galvanized, held spellbound by the breathtaking spectacle of a young unidentified man perched on a ledge 15 stories above the street. I'm going to turn you over to Bob Roberts now, who's at a window up here across the street. How does it look from up there, Bob? There's not much happening right now. There seems to be some sort of delay. The man we have just identified for you as Deputy Chief Moxer comes to the window at intervals, says something. But of course, from this distance, we can't tell what he says. The boy appears cool and detached, just waiting. He's thinking about something, perhaps reviewing his life. At moments, he teeters precariously on the edge of this ledge, calmly looking down into the abyss below. What is he thinking? Miss Kelly, will you turn that off, please? Will he yes, decide to jump? Again. Can he somehow be persuaded that this line is not entirely working? Considering the shortness of time, perhaps we should proceed without him. Mrs. Fuller? Yes? I've worked out the disposition of the children with Mr. Fuller's attorney. Let's run through it once while we wait. The above entitled action having been brought on by plaintiff for a judgment of divorce. Clear here, folks. Clear one side, please. Pull that elevator. Moxer's been waiting on you. Now, wait a minute here. Where are you going? I'm the Reverend Dr. J.C. Parkinson, the boy's pastor. His parents have requested me to... Uh, what church do you represent, Doctor? Well, I work in faith and magnetism. I saved 17 souls last year. Souls respond scientifically to... That's fine, I prayer. know. But you, come on, you better keep going here. We're busy here. Come back another day. Goodbye. So right away I hear his voice, I know something screwy, see? I figure he's up to something. So I open the door, careful, right, and I make the grab... Thomas. Clear it. Hey, fella. What are you, this joker's father or something? What'd you say to him? I don't know, Chief. I don't remember. First thing came into my mind. Okay, okay. Whatever you did, do it again. Let's get him in off there. Come on. Sorry, Chief, but I don't know what you want me to do. You got to him. He loves you. He won't talk to anybody else. He doesn't like me. He doesn't like these big brain specialists, so you're it. I'm putting it up to you. Come on. Well, look, this up. is a little out of my line. I don't know anything about loopies. That's in your favor. Just be natural with him. We tried to be, but we're doctors, and he's probably had a bad experience with doctors. He smelled us coming. Just talk to him. What do I say? It doesn't matter. Anything. Anything to sublimate his drive. Easy, Doc. I took a little French, but I didn't keep up with Sorry. it. Sorry. Break his stride. Spoil the momentum he's building up. If you can make him talk, he'll feel better and loosen up. Is he a real loopy or is it an act? Let's say he has a problem. We can be sure of that even if we don't know what it is. And it seems enormous to him, bigger than it is. He's out there considering what seems to him to be the only possible solution. How you feel? I, I'm holding up the parade, I guess. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I feel better now. I, I can breathe better. Swell. It's going to be a great parade. By Shamrock? Uh, are you Irish? 
Uh, I mean, uh, Irish derivation. I don't need these signs. <laughs> well, you don't have to be a heart to wear the green today. Everybody does it. It's one of those things. Everybody gets into the act. You feel good about it. Hey, suppose I get the hotel to fix us up a room on the back side and we can sit out like this and see the parade, eh? How about that? No, I, I've got to think this through. Maybe I can help you. I, I've got to think this through first by myself. I, I, I'm uh, sorry about holding up the parade. Most of them must be watching me. They're all watching you. What was it you wanted to talk to me about, kid? You asked for me to come back, didn't you? You sent for me. Why? Why'd you do that? Everybody lies to me. If you mean I didn't give you any bull, that's OK. I appreciate that. I'm not going to try and feed you any now, either. I haven't got the right kind of kisser for it. I'll tell you this. I don't like it up here. I'm on a spot with a chief inside already. I don't think he likes a flat foot muscling in, but you sent for me and I'm on orders. I want to help you. I think you ought to tell me what it's all about, though. If it's a girl, I can tell you all about it. Gal, once in You have to I... march or anything. It's all right. Well, forget it. I'd just as soon be up here with you. Cigarette? No, thanks. Could I have a glass of water, please? Sure thing. Anything you like, just speak up. Uh, not too much ice in it. They always put too much ice in it in hotels. It's bad for your digestion. Sit tight. I'll be right back. Keep him busy. He wants a drink of ice water. Water? Yeah. Look, if I can con him in closer, as he reaches for the glass, maybe I can make a grab for him. He'd yank you, and then both of you'd go over. Not if somebody hung on to me. He'd yank us all. I don't mind losing you, but I don't want a whole daisy chain of cops sailing out that window. Chief, why not put a rope on Dunnigan's leg and then put some beef on the rope on out into the hall, just in case he gets a chance to make a grab? OK, get the rope. Hey, where's that water? Go on out there and stall while I get you rigged up. Hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? Chief, I'd like to string up this microphone by the window. I want to catch that conversation out on the ledge. Get that screwball out of here, will you? Come on, get that gear out. Anything on those prints yet? Not a thing yet, Chief. What are they doing, playing poker or something? Put some heat on them. Come on, come on, Donnie. What are you doing, baking a cake? I sat down for some ice, kid. I knew you wanted a little ice. Never mind. Ah, uh, just take a second. Sit tight. This takes a little while. I'll be right back. That's fine. Keep it up. Just don't press him quite so hard. If anything annoys him, skip it. Keep talking. He's beginning to relax. I think he's getting the bang out of it. Big shot nut out there. Well, whatever his problem is, it paralyzed him. He felt he couldn't do anything, couldn't move. Now he's out there. He's free. He's got a choice. He can jump at any moment or not jump. He likes that feeling. He feels important. He's a great guy. You see him teetering? <laughs> Scares a little. You're all set, Donegan. Here. Come on, come on, come on. Give us a little more slack here. All right, that's it. Now take a good bite on that. <laughs> hey, Donegan, does this guy go for dames? If he does, I got an idea. What are you talking to him about, Donegan? You think he's going to jump this year, or you think it's an act? Huh? Look, you guys, if I get a chance, I'm going to make a grab for him. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Come on. Now, if you get a hold of him, hang on. We'll pull you back. You'll only fall a couple of stories. Donegan. What's that? Stimulant. It may pick him up a little, raise his spirits. It's worth a try, anyway. He 
Yeah, kid. Not much ice, like you said. I'm sorry it took so long, but you know how hotels are. They make a big production out of everything. Are you gonna try to grab me? I thought we were getting to know each other a little. Just don't try and grab me. You might fall. Okay. Give it to me with your left hand. Okay. Did the doctors put something in it? I don't think they do a thing like that. I tell you what I'll do. We'll give it the Dunnigan test. What's that? Anything I can drink is all right for babies. Nothing happens. Okay. Well, we'll put it down and push it along. I'll pick it up. Okay. Take it easy, kid. Sit tight. What's the idea? No go. I can't crack him. Get back out there and stall him. We just got a report on him. We're going to try to get his family up here and see what they can do with him. Look, his name is Robert Cossack. C-O-S-I-C. -S -I -C. Whatever kind of name that is. Try it out on him for size. His father and mother are divorced. You may not want to talk about that, but see what you can find out. Look, I... I... Okay, what did you say his first name was? Robert. Robert. Keep that on. You may get a chance to be a hero. What about that stuff I drank in that water? Won't hurt you. Hi. You want another one? No. Could I have a cigarette now? <laughs> sure thing, Robert. Here you are. Left hand, right? Why did you call me that? Robert? Oh, I thought that'd be all right with you. But now we're getting acquainted. Have a cigarette. How did they find out? Police routine. They had to check around a while, but they found out they got a pretty good line on you. You're getting to be famous. It's none of their business. They're just trying to help It's you. none of their business. I don't want everybody crowding me. I don't like to be bothered. Cigarette, kid? Put him down.
I don't smoke much, usually. I, I try to take good care of myself. Good idea. Everybody ought to take good care of themselves. My father drinks too much. Here he comes. They talked to the bond house downtown where his old man works. He's a salesman, but he's out somewhere. They can't locate him. But get a pickup on him. I did. Oh, Mrs. Kozik lives with her sister in Jersey. But they can't reach her either. Somebody thinks she went shopping. Hey, give this dope from those radio bums. Give him something useful to do. Maybe somebody can listen. Well, go on. Hello. Listen, get a 24 out on Paul Kozik. If you have any information concerning the whereabouts of these people, please call this station of the police immediately. I'll repeat the names. The father is Paul E. Kosick. The mother, Mrs. Christine Hill Kosick. This is an urgent appeal. The most amazing heroic thing so far is that this man, Charles Dunnigan, is a traffic cop. Just one of New York's average, hard-working traffic cop. He seems to be winning Robert's confidence where everyone else is fake. Hey, that must be the cop Dunnigan that was down is here. Man off the scene. All right, everybody grab his office. Who's got pastrami? I'm what? Who give me right. a box? That's mine. I get it. Where'd you have? Coffee, no sugar, no cream. Okay. This All that with black coffee is with the X. Where's my chain? You get chain, though. Listen, how about a pool, a buck a throw? Like it is, the cops got us froze. Nobody makes nothing working out of this stand today. With some dough up, somebody gets a pot. What do you say? Well, what's the matter with that? Thanks. No, listen, see? Everybody puts a buck in and takes a slip of paper with a different time. The guy that gets closest to time this joker jumps, that guy gets the pot. You know what I mean? Look, here's the slips of paper. You loan me your hat, huh? Now, I'll mark it off. You guys give me a buck apiece, and we'll have this pool. Traffic has been cleared okay. sufficiently, Two, and the annual three, St. Patrick's Day Parade will be held. This is the big day. New York's wife. There's still no word from Robert's parents. Who came in that car? I don't know. I'd like to talk to her before you let us in. Why? She might upset him. You never can tell. Sure. While you psychoanalyze her, he dies. Well, Donnegan, the kid's mother's here. Hello, hello. Mrs. Cossack's in the hotel. Keep this line open, will you? Yeah, yeah, hold the line open. Where is he? I'm his mother. Mrs. Cossack, this is important. Your son may be acting. We don't know. He may jump at any moment. Please, let me see him. Wait, please. Bobby! Bobby! Mrs. Cossack. Oh, I knew something was wrong. He hasn't written me in six months. Yes. I, I didn't know where he was. I wasn't even sure he was in New York until... I'm don't... his mother. Please, yes, let me see him. Yes, but don't you see Don't her. let Bobby. her talk to me. Please, let me see him. Let her go. I... Oh, Bobby! Bobby! Oh. Bobby, Bobby, it's mother. Wait. Why don't you talk to your mother for a minute? She's worried about you. Bobby, Bobby, look at me. What's the matter? Look at me, son. What do you want to talk about? I haven't got much time now. Oh, please come in. Please come in. Nothing is this bad. I know you haven't been happy, but... Bobby, baby. Mother! Don't call me that! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But please come in now. I want to talk to you. I love you, Robert. Don't do this. I know you don't want to do this to me. 
Robert, you love me, don't you? I haven't done anything, have I? You haven't done anything. Oh, then, what is it? Are, are you in some sort of trouble? Do you need money? You haven't been eating right. You're just upset. You've seen your father, Robert. Oh, nothing is really this bad, is it? Robert! What, what are you going to do? I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. Please go away now. Robert, come in here. Would you like to take a vacation with me, son? We could go somewhere on the beach. We could go to Seabright. You used to like Seabright. Then we could forget all about this. I can't come in now. Oh, you can come in now if you want to. Oh, it's, it's easy, Robert. Just, just take a step over here. I said go away. I, I've talked to you now. Go away. I can't stand everybody crowding me, trying to make me do things. I've got to make up my own mind. Take her away now. Away from here. You want to lie down for a while? Oh, let me see you. Commissioner. Yes, sir. Deputy Chief Marks are emergency. I don't know what more we can do, sir. Yes, sir. Well, we can't rig any kind of a net without him saying it. Yes, sir. Uh -uh. Has he ever done anything like this before? <laughs> no. I don't think so. <laughs> He's always been nervous. <laughs> he was in the hospital when he was away at school, but he, he wasn't sick. He, he was just nervous. What? I don't know. Why won't he talk to you? Well, he's, he's not himself. You think he's busted up about a girl or something like oh. that? I beg your pardon. Can I get through, please? All right, back. I'm the boy's father. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Cossack. Go right in. I'm his father. I don't know if there's anything that... <laughs> Hello, Chris. Oh, Paul, you're shameless. We're doing all we can. Please, Paul, at this late date, this is indecent. You think you can do anything with him? Do you want to talk to him? Don't no, let no, him. I... Haven't you done enough Chris, damage? Chris, put the oh, love you up. Don't oh, let no, him. Okay, okay, no, okay. No, now, listen, no, both no. of you. I got enough on my hands without this. I'm trying to talk your kid out of taking a dive. No wonder he's cuckoo. You want to put on the gloves? Do it outside. Come on, both of you. Oh, Get him outside of the hall. After 15 years of neglect and selfish unconcern to come back here, if there's anybody to blame, okay, you're to blame. Okay, okay, nobody's to blame. Do you want to talk to him? Well, if you think it'll do any good, but he's been closer to his mother. I've had the whole burden. If you've been able to give him any kind of a living, if you've been able to make him any Chris, kind of a home. Shut up, Mr. Cossack. How did you feel when you Let's discovered your boy? Let's get these characters out of here. Look, I almost had him a couple of times. I. I know I can con him in if I can just get my hands on what's bothering him. Do you know what's bothering him? You're his father. I, I don't know. I, I don't know him very well. I hardly recognized him when I saw him on television. I was in a bar downtown. Where else? Pipe down, will you? I'd like to talk to him. Yeah, I'd like to talk to him. Ask him, will you? See, I, I wanted to see him, but I, I didn't think he wanted to see me. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Let me go. Let me go. Bobby! Bobby! Bobby, Bobby, I won't let the doctors touch you. I won't let them do anything to you. I know what Virginia thinks, but Virginia is wrong. You're not sick. Don't listen to her, Bobby. You don't have to do anything you do. Keep her away from here, will you? Hey, hey, ask him if he'll see his own man. Yeah, but she just... Go ahead, out there. Hey, 
My father's in there. He's no good. He wants to see you, Robert, but he's afraid you got something against him. You got nothing against him, have you? Who's Virginia? I don't know. I don't know anybody with that name. How long since you saw your father, kid? Hey, can I have a cigarette? <laughs> sure. I don't see him much anymore. They fought all the time. It was his fault. He's no good. Look, this is none of my business, so don't get sore. I'm just a guy here talking, but I have to call him as I see him. You're sure you're not just taking your mother's word for that? For what? About your father being no good. Maybe you'd like him if you gave him a chance. Why don't you talk to him and give him a chance? Why don't you talk to him? Well, you Look, Mrs. Cossack, we've got a room down the hall. Why don't you go down there and rest? No, I want to stay here. He feels worthless and empty. We can be sure of that. It starts early, usually. Something that happens between children and parents. So you may be the key. We don't know. We can't know until we can get him in and have time to help him. Just do the best you can. I can't stand looking down very well. Well, then, then don't look down. And try to be casual. Look, Robert, you don't have to talk to your father any longer than you want to. Anytime you want to break it off, just yell like before, OK? Okay. Good. Good. Robert, I want to help you if I can. I meant to look you up, Robert. I, I wanted to talk to you. I, I, I know this isn't a very good place, but let me say a few things. I've, I've got so much that... Uh, now, look, I, I'm not going to ask you to tell me why you're doing this, if you, if you don't want to. I understand. It's, it's difficult. Things are difficult. It's, it's been difficult for me, too. Now, why... Why did it turn out like this? What happened? Don't you want to talk to me? I don't care. I just don't know you very well. I tried to tell you, Chief. She hit him with somebody named Virginia. He turned white as a duck. I said, who's Virginia? And he clammed up. I figured there's a girl mixed up in it someplace. You know anything about her? I didn't get a chance to ask him. See what you get out of her. Yeah. All right, back up here, fellas. Back up. All right, all right. I'll beat it, you guys. Jerry, huh? Mrs. Cossack. Oh. Mrs. Cossack, we understand Come that you on, and your husband were divorced. Come on, beat it, you guys. Can't you see that she's nervous and upset? Now leave her alone. Are these men reporters? We'll get uh, yes, Mrs. No, Cossack, but I'll only want to. Please, I'd like to talk to them. Just, uh, just let me rest a bit. Surely, Mrs. Cossack, but, uh... Robert. I know I've, I've made a lot of mistakes. But I love Chris. I loved your mother. You know that. You knew she was a very beautiful girl, Robert, before she had all that trouble. I don't know really what happened. You know what I'm trying to tell you, Robert? No. What? Everything was good for a while. You, you were hardly 10 then. 
I used to take you to the office on Saturday sometimes. You liked to play in the office. We weren't very busy then. The girls in the office used to make a big fuss over you. And, and I took you out of school once. You remember? No. I suppose not. Well, anyway, I, I took you up to the polo grounds for the opening game of the season. I wrote the excuse myself. I said, please excuse my son at one o'clock today. He has to go to a ball game with me. Then she, your mother hit the ceiling. I thought first it was missing school, but it was the money for the tickets. Well, I suppose she was right. But I'm working on my own time now, selling. I can knock off any afternoon I wanted. I could get a pair of tickets for the opening game this year. If you'd like to go. You're afraid to look down, aren't you? I, I haven't seen a ball game in well, maybe six years. I'd like to go. Robert, are you trying to punish me? Chief, Commissioner's on his way over. Would you like another minute? Thank you. Gee, I, I wish I could do something. That's a wonderful attitude. I, I respect that. You know, most of these people don't care. Look, my philosophy is that no matter how horrible anything is, there's, there's always something, something good in it. Well, well, I mean, like, you come to work at 8 o'clock every morning, I go to work at 8.30. Why, I could have gone on for a long time, except for this, and missed you by half an hour all the time. Uh, have you ever been to Lewiston Stadium to the concerts on Sunday? Oh, it's beautiful. Stars out, people listening. No, I, I've never been, but it sounds beautiful. I'll take you. Uh, I'll take you this Sunday if you'd like to go. I would like to. And I, I appreciate the sincerity of your invitation. But we, we've just met. I don't even know your name. got three. I got three. Hey, I don't like this. Let's call it off. What for? Listen, 12 bucks for somebody, tax-free. That's a good deal. What do you want to call it off for? Ah, it stinks. Hey, we get separated. We settle up at the garage, huh? Let me have a go at her. How is she? She's fine. She's down the hall in 1510 talking to the reporters. Chief, will you please okay, let me... Okay, okay. What goes with her anyway? She's a case just like a boy. I've been a good mother. I've done everything I could for her. Do you know of any serious love affair that could Everyone thought for. it was too bad. I know they did. We didn't have much money. Of course, I was only 18 when he was born. I did have to give up my music, any thought of a career. You were a singer, Mrs. Cossack? My teacher said I would have been a concert pianist if I'd kept on. And it was obvious what people thought after Bobby was born. I'm go down and get some man on the streets. But it wasn't true at all. I wanted him. It was a great blessing. His father never understood. Oh, lady, protest too much. Oh, please let me talk to him. Let me go to him. I, I never forgive myself. Oh, I'd kill myself if anything happened to him. <laughs> If he doesn't hurry up, he's going to miss the evening editions. They always die for the morning papers. Look, it's his mother. If she gets hysterical, get a shot of it. 
I've tried to make his father see that Bobby was very sensitive, but he couldn't face the responsibility. His mother got hysterical. He refused to talk to her. She obviously blames herself for something. I don't know what you can make of it. Must I put up with this? In some of these things, you think they'd break let it up. me alone. Let's go, I said. Let's go. You, come on, everybody. Attaboy, come on. Out. You, attaboy. I'd like to be with go them. Go on, everybody. Go. I want to Wait a minute. Who is this Virginia you've been talking about? Who is she? I'm under the care of these doctors. I... You've just been transferred, lady. You're under my care now. I want to know about this girl. Who is she? Is she his girl or something? Oh, please let me alone. I'm his mother. Don't you think I feel I don't it? think you feel anything but sorry for oh. yourself. Look, I've been out there all day now, hanging on by the seat of my pants. I don't know what's wrong with you, kid. I don't know why I care, but I do. I'm going to do everything I can to get him back in. I'm sorry, but if there's any chance that he has a girl that might help get him back in, I'm going to find out about her, even if I have to be a little rough on you. Why did she leave him? Why? Give me another chance, Robert. I'm your father. I was wrong to leave. Of course I was wrong. I, I didn't really want to hurt you, but I just couldn't stand the... The bickering, the constant carping and complaining. It got so I couldn't go home. I hated the sight of her, the sound of her voice. Oh, I... I didn't mean to say that. If you ever say that again, if you ever so much as touch her, I'll kill you. I'm sorry. Really, I'm sorry. His name was Virginia Forster. They were kids in school together, and they were engaged, but it's busted up. I couldn't find Where is she now? She lives with her family in Connecticut, Stanford. Takes a couple of hours to get her down here, even if we find her. What's the difference? With okay, okay. We might as well give it a try. I'll put the pick up on her. You get out there and keep your friend busy. We're going to drop a man in a rig and try to grab him. A rig? If he sees anything like that, he'll dive. See the commissioner about it. How'd you do? I got a line on the girl they're sending for. How is he? He's getting pretty confused. You know what they're trying to do? They're crazy. I tried to talk them out of it. Keep them from looking up. That's all you can do. Hi. How are you? You want a cigarette, kid? It looked like a pretty good thing you had with Virginia, kid. Why'd you throw her over? She's probably been worried about you. It wasn't any good. It wasn't any good. Why not? It just wasn't... Why can't they leave me alone? Why'd they have to go and find out about her? I didn't want her to know anything about it. Can't they stop torturing me? Okay, down here. Oh, easy does it. Here we go. Shall we continue, Mrs. Fuller? It is further ordered, adjudged, and decreed that the plaintiff have custody, control, and supervision of the infant issue of the marriage herein dissolved. Thomas Edward Fuller and Louise Ann Fuller, except as provided herein below. Uh, Mr. Fuller? Okay. Mrs. Fuller. What? 
Uh, we would like to establish agreement on each paragraph as we go. Uh, do you have any comment? Yes. I don't understand it. It's too complicated. Issue, one issue, both issue. You make it sound dirty. They're children. Why don't you say children? I don't want to do it now anyway. Mrs. Fuller, isn't this a bit late? Wait a minute. Anne, do you really mean that? Are you serious? Yes. Mrs. Fuller, may I, I ask? I told you it's too complicated. Custody, here and after, provided. I, I can't remember who's plaintiff or who's defendant. It'd be more trouble than being married. Oh, Anne. If you'd been on time, it would have been all right. I, I wanted to do it. But I got tired of waiting and thinking. I'm sorry, I got mixed up in that traffic jam. And we can make it work again. Let's try. Oh. Understand that the Hey Mac, look out! They're, they're gonna get you! Look out, Mac! Pull them up! Get away from me! Get away from me! Pull them up! Pull them up! Pull them up. You're nothing but a stinking cop. You knew they were gonna do that. You were in on it. Shut up! What do you think you're yelling at anyway? Who do you think you are? You open your trap to me like that just once more, and I'll come over there and push off. You realize he was risking his neck for you? You realize half the police force in New York is climbing around in this hotel, holding their breath to see what you're going to do? You realize how much the city's paid for this phony Dutch act of yours? I'm going to jump. I'm not going to jump. Don't anybody touch me. Give me a glass of water. OK, kid, if you're going to jump, go ahead. Jump! I got a belly full of you. I don't know why I bothered with you in the first place. Go on! Jump! Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I appreciate what you're trying to do. I'm sorry. I, I could never talk to anybody the way I've been able to talk to you. I could never talk to my father the way I've talked to you. I'm sorry. I'm mixed up. Don't you see your mother gave you a wrong steer about your father, kid? Don't you see he's really a, a good Joe and he, he likes you? I guess so. I... I, I don't know. I, I just don't know what to do. He's right here. Why don't you tell him you were wrong? Why don't you? OK. It's all right, Robert. I understand. I guess we both understand each other a little better now, don't we? Yes. It, it doesn't matter anyway. Why don't you come on in a little while? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make a deal with you. You've been out here a long time now, and it's pretty hot. You're tired, and you haven't had anything to eat. 
I'll, I'll make a deal with you. If you want to come in and take a shower and think things over, I'll clear everybody out of the room and give you the key and you can lock yourself in. And if you want to come back out here, OK, that'll be your own decision. How do I know that you do it? Really? Because I say so. You got my word for it. You didn't tell me that they were going to try to grab me. No, I didn't. But I think that's a little bit different, don't you, kid? You didn't ask me to promise I wouldn't let them try to grab you. And anyway, I couldn't have stopped them if I wanted to. This is just between us. If I say so, you've got my word for it. All right. Give me a couple of minutes to clear out the room. Come on, everybody out. You jokers over there, come on out. Everybody, clear the room. Let's go, everybody, clear the room. Come on. Let's clear the room. Everybody out. Who's got the key? Where's the key? Okay. Okay, here's the key. Now, the connecting doors are locked, and just give me a couple of seconds to get out, and I'll guard the door and see nobody bust in until you get it locked. Okay? Kneel and pray, my boy. Kneel and pray. Be washed. Hey, Chief! Where did you come from? Oh, boys, oh, I'm the boy's hey, pastor. I tell you. Hey, Chief! Robert. Robert. I'm sorry. I didn't. It was a mistake. I don't know where he came from. Where did he come from? Who let him in? He had one leg on the floor. I'm ready with a bracelet. Why wasn't the... somebody watching the door? We almost had him. He'll never, never believe me now. No matter what I say to him. But... Okay, check in. Any other ideas? The girl. Have we got anything on the girl? No. If your captain gives you any trouble, tell him to call me. Yeah. You're still out there. Yeah, I know. What? Well, where is she now? Well, what? Can I get a Bayside number on this? Hold on a minute. Yeah. Ask the operator. Say, where's the chief? He's in there. Thanks. Hello? Bayside 99970. Bayside 99970. Just a minute, sir. Helen, I'm going to be a little late now. Yeah. Yeah, are the kids there? Is Harry okay? I don't know. I still have to check in. Hey. What? We got the girl. Wait a minute, Helen. What? We got the girl. They're flying her down. You better stick around. Helen, I'll, I'll explain when I see you. No, no, it's... It's okay. Go ahead without me. Save me a piece of liver.
darkness has transformed this entire scene into, well, it's a strange, fantastic sight. Many of these people have been waiting here all day. And even now, well, just a minute. They're bringing someone now. Virginia? Yes? Virginia, uh, this is Dr. Strauss. How do you do? We'd like to talk to you a minute about Robert. Give me a rewrite and hurry up. Yes, yeah, she's in the hotel gun in the room now with the doctor. Virginia, you were engaged. Why did you break it off? I didn't. He did. He did? Why? Well, he... He just said that he couldn't... That, that he'd make me unhappy, that it would be better if... Did you have a fight? No, but... But he'd get mad. What about? Whenever I tried to help him. Oh, he'd, he'd get in an argument and lose his job and get sick, really sick. I, I tried to get him to see a doctor. But... And he'd get mad about that? Yes, just even... Do you if... think you know what's wrong with him? We want you to talk to him, but first we've got to be sure that you understand. Oh, I couldn't. I can't. Don't you want to help him? Oh, yes. We I... failed. The but... least you can do for him is to try to make him see that he's important to you. But what can I say? We've pieced together a little bit about him today. Not everything, and it's complicated, partly we're guessing. But it's an old pattern. It's been going on as long as there have been families. His mother didn't want him, really. But she couldn't admit, even to herself, that he'd, that he'd spoiled her beautiful dream of fame and fortune, a great career. So she babied him. And she couldn't admit, again, even to herself, that she blamed her husband for trapping her. So she blamed him for everything else. And she got back at him by teaching Rama to hate him. Now, all children, boys, are in love with their mothers romantically. They get over it, turn a little more toward their fathers. Robert didn't. He couldn't. He hated his father. That bothered him. He knew it was wrong. So he began to hate himself. Everything proved that he was right. Every time he lost a job. The army said he was no good. That made it official. Do you love him? Yes. Then tell him so. Make him believe it. Help us to get him in. Then it, it won't be easy. But then we'll do everything possible to try to straighten him out. He wants to love you, but he feels unworthy. He's afraid to. Virginia! It's all right, Mrs. Kozik. Take it easy. Take it easy. I told you, I, this doesn't have anything to do with her. I, I want to keep her out of it. Robert. I don't want her to see me. Robert. I love you. I need you and I want you. That's all. I, I won't ask you to do anything you don't want to do. Down there. Where do you want it? How 
big is it? Keep it out of his sight, close to the building on the way in. Bring it up the elevator. We'll work it with rope from the 13th floor. Yes, sir. Hug the building, up the elevator, 13th floor. Stand by for Moxer. What are they doing? Nothing, Robert. I can watch it. Robert, don't you love me? I thought you loved me. I kept the poem you wrote me in your last letter. When you went away, I didn't quite understand it, but, but it was beautiful. I know it by heart. I do. You are gone, Virginia. And I remember the empty doorway, the soft, dark shadows that said goodnight, the, the anguish heavy on my shoulders. I look at the awkward hands that cannot touch your beauty. I hear the silent footsteps of ending in the silent street. Forgive me, Virginia. I am empty. Go on. Finish it. Oh, no, Robert. No, I didn't mean I... Don't. I, I've tasted the wind. I've tasted the earth. There's nothing in between. N nothing but... empty anger below. No goal but the... restless lanterns of, of, of the dead. Manufacturers of Miss America Bobby Pins, Stimulo, the brush of beauty, and Fashionette, the crowning glory for your hair. All commercial announcements will be omitted. It is now 8 p.m. What's the idea? It was your idea. You won it, you got closest to the time. What time? Okay, I got 8 o'clock. Now it's 8 o'clock. But the idea was the guy who got closest to the time that he jumped takes the dough. He ain't jumped. So no dough, huh? Well, I'll take it. It's your dough. Gee, I've been looking all over for you. I, I wanted to tell you. My name's Daniel Klempner. Uh, nobody but my mother calls me that, though. At the stock room where I work, they call me Danny. Oh. Oh, gee, what's the matter? I, I guess I'm just hungry. I went away for a while, but I didn't eat anything. 
I forgot to. Oh, we'll get you some to eat. Target. We need about ten minutes to get the net up, and bingo, we got him. Can you keep busy that long? Are you okay? I'm okay. Maybe the doc better give you some. I'm okay. All right. Look, kid. What is it? What, what's the trouble? Why can't you tell me? What is it? I don't know. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I, I, I couldn't breathe if I came in. Well, I, I know how you're We're ready, here, Chief. Just catering to you here. Okay. Monogamy. Here we go. Can't say I blame you. I don't go too much for doctors myself, usually. But these guys are okay. They know it's been pretty rough on you, your family busting up the way it did. That can be pretty rough on a guy. It mixes them up. They figure you just added it all up wrong and got the wrong answer. It's not as bad as you think it is. Now, for instance, you're mixed up about Virginia, I guess. Okay. Maybe you want to marry her, only you don't want to. You can't, only you think you should, or something. Well, that's a tough one. That could happen to anybody. But it's like they say about streetcars, there'll be another one along any minute. You know how many girls called up the hotel here today and said they'd marry you? How many? A lot. About ten, I think they told me. <laughs> They're crazy. Ten. Ten good reasons. You should have ten good reasons for anything. That's a rule. I'd really like to come in, but I can't. Why not? I, I just can't now. <laughs> After this... I might go if you could give me ten good reasons. But you can't. Life stinks and you know it. it, it it's a rat race. It's a rat race. It, it's a rat race. Sure, but there's a lot in it. There's a lot in it that's okay. What? Well, maybe I should get a preacher or somebody like that to explain it to you. Yeah. You explain it to me, yourself. Oh, I'm not so sure I can get I. I just never counted it all up, I guess. What are they doing down there? Oh, I don't know. So, what are they doing? What's happening? That they're just pulling around. You know how cops are. <laughs> don't worry about them. They're waiting for me to jump. Everybody's waiting for me to jump. Could be. I'll make you a bet. You come on in from here, and you'll hear cheering like DiMaggio bellowed one into the stands. They weren't waiting for me to jump. They'd go home. Yeah, sure. A lot of jerks will look at anything. Don't look at me. I don't know. I, I agree with you. It's a rat race, like you said. Man washing a window, making cigars. Everybody wants to see what's going to happen. They're interested, sure. Hey, Maybe tie that line off on the radiator. Twice sometime about a thing like this. It's holding us up. Our line They're is still around. Chief, we're all clear now. Okay, okay take it up. Yes, sir. Off big buildings don't buy any potatoes. Everybody's got it. get anything out of this racket you don't put in. I get tired some days. My back's been troubling me, too, a little lately. But I forget about it when I get out of the suit and I get a couple of beers in. That's one of the things that's OK, a beer now and then. I get a kick out of that first swallow when I'm dry. I, I could never understand how anybody could drink beer. My wife used to feel the same way you do. He showed her something. Put a little salt in it. She drinks it all the time now. 
Is she beautiful? Well, she's not a Park Avenue photographer's model. No, I don't suppose you'd say she's beautiful. She ought to have had her teeth fixed when she was a kid, but they didn't know much about that in those days. And she's taken on a little around the hips since the two kids, but that's to be expected. That's natural. You know, we, we kid her a lot about going to one of those rub and punch parlors on Fifth Avenue and getting the whole works, you know, the mud on the chin and everything, but it's, it's just kidding. It's too expensive. But we have a lot of laughs. Maybe... I could explain better how I feel if I'd read more books or gone to church more. Helen's more for that. That's natural. Easter's, I like it. You know, the family, we sort of make a thing of it. Last Easter, though, I was down on the avenue jockeying the top hats. We may get to go this year. Sundays, usually, I just sit around on my fat. Why don't you come out this Sunday and meet my wife? We'll eat. She's a good cook. And then after, we could go over to Sheep's Head and fish for floppers off the pier. What are, uh, uh floppers? I never heard of floppers. Oh, flounders. We call them floppers. You know, a flat, white on one side, you know. How about it? How about coming out? No. Why not? I can't tell you. Oh, why not? I, I can't tell you. you. You're trying to trick me. Keep it coming. All I know is... Keep it coming. Why can't you tell me? Wouldn't you like to go fishing with me? Yes. But we could have a good time. This Sunday? For oh, sure. You pick it any Sunday. Hey, look it! I'm jumping! Doctor, is he? He's he... all right, Virginia. He's exhausted and suffering from shock, but he's all right. No, no, I mean, what I mean is, later, will it, will it just happen over well, again? The, the doc here doesn't think so. We've all got to help him, Virginia. It'll take time and patience, but he wants to live. So the worst is really over. Now, right now, he needs some rest, and so do you. Tonight. We've got everything we need here. We'll move them in the morning. We'll just stir things up. No. Yes, sir. You're going to keep an eye on You need some rest, Donegan. Go to bed. You've done a good day's work. Oh, thanks.
Let's go see your mommy. Me? 